and Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. Full-size sedans are supposed to be an American specialty, so you can imagine how surprised many folks were when in 1995 Toyota introduced its big car contender, the Avalon. And while some found the Avalon less than generous in all dimensions, it did strike a positive chord with many former domestic sedan buyers. But never to rest too long on their laurels, for 2000, Toyota is launching a bigger and they claim better Avalon, one with its roots even more firmly planted in American soil. That's because the all-new 2000 Toyota Avalon has been designed, engineered, as well as built in the good old U.S. of A. In fact, Toyota's plant in Georgetown, Kentucky, continues as the only source of Avalons. No global car is this one. So not surprisingly, like its Detroit competition, the Avalon is a pretty big car outside, although not quite full size. Its modified Camry chassis is 191.9 inches in length, riding on an unchanged 107.1 inch wheelbase, but both overall height and width gain an extra inch this year. A bigger change is styling, less Camry derived. It is modern, substantial, fairly handsome, yet still quite conservative. The area around the grille and artful headlamps is the most distinctive. But the interior is very distinctive and the most admirable change for Avalon. With 106.6 cubic feet of interior space, you would split hairs not to call it full size. That Toyota found so much room without stretching the wheelbase is truly impressive. As is a dash that would do Lexus proud, blending broad, ultra-clean lines, an efficient layout, and plenty of handsome wood trim. Large, clear analog gauges meet the driver squarely, while to the right is a prominent eye-friendly multi-data screen that looks straight off an auto show concept car. To underscore that the Avalon is aimed at very mature buyers, all is viewed from wide, supportive bench or bucket seats, which in our XLS tester included optional leather upholstery and power adjustments. Side airbags are standard. It's just a short reach to the fine-sounding optional JBL cassette CD stereo and standard dual climate controls. In line with current family car requirements, there's also plenty of storage space and cup holders. Available power points front and rear, plus child seat tether anchors behind the rear seat, which incidentally is big enough for the tallest adults or a lot of kids, but surprisingly lacks a split folding seat back many competitors include. There is a small pass-through for long objects behind the center armrest. Still, the trunk itself offers a family size 15.9 cubic feet of space. To motivate the 2000 Avalon, Toyota went with a proven power plant. The three liter dual overhead cam 24 valve V6 is shared with the Camry that makes more horsepower 210 and more torque 220 pound feet thanks to the addition of variable valve timing. The only transmission available is a smooth, firm shifting four speed automatic. With its front drive combo, the Avalon hits 60 in a respectable 8.5 seconds and runs the full quarter mile in 16.3 seconds at 88 miles per hour. The feel is highly refined with impressive mid-range power for such a smallish V6. Stopping is by way of ABS-equipped four-wheel disc brakes. Stops from 60, however, were longer than we'd like, averaging 141 feet. Brake assist, a system that keeps brake pressure on in a panic stop even if you chicken out, is included with optional electronic stability skid control on the Avalon XLS. Both unexpected features for this class of sedan. Traction control is included too, all working with the Avalon's already capable McPherson strut front and dual link strut rear suspension for a solid, sure-footed, confident feel. It's no sports sedan and there is plenty of front drive push, yet Avalon feels very safe for such a big, comfy car. But push it too far, too fast, and it will snap from understeer to oversteer very quickly. Though that's not a situation likely to be encountered by Avalon's mostly older drivers. They will instead favor a moderate pace at all times, reveling in the car's luxurious ride and well-isolated quiet. A feeling of calm, reinforced by the knowledge that they've got plenty of car for their money. Avalon prices start at $26,470 for an XL model with a front bench seat. $25,650 gets you the bucket seats. Move up to the XLS and you'll pay $30,110 for one with the bench seat, $30,210 for buckets. 
While more than most competitors, such as the Buick LeSabre and Chrysler Concorde, it still represents a much better value than the first Avalon, and one that makes you wonder why anyone would pay more for a Lexus ES300. Which means that the Avalon's already respectable sales will certainly go up. Automobile Magazine agrees, saying, Toyota wants to sell 80,000 Avalons this year, and we have no doubt it will. So expect to see a lot more of this high-value, homegrown, big-family sedan in the near future. As we said before, full-size sedans are an American specialty, and the 2000 Toyota Avalon is as American as any big car on the road today.